Welcome back my amazing YouTube family. It's me your instructor Rashid and I'm super excited to be back with you today. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the other FSM dashboard we have built so far. You will find all the links down in the description below. Now today is all about creating a complete HR dashboard and trust me it is going to be fantastic. Alright, let's get straight to the point at the top of our dashboard. We have three important numbers, total employees, current employees and those who left the company means ex employees and here you are having the donut chart like the 16% are those employees who left the company and the rest 84% employees are there here you have total 2906 employees working in the company 473 left the company and the iteration rate or the employees departure rate is 16% more here we are having total employees by job role total employees by education total employees by age bracket business travel gender and department now let's talk about something cool the focus mode if I will click on this focus mode everything becomes more visible and easier to explain just like turning on a brighter light in a dark room more if i will click on this sales executive it will slice the whole dashboard with reference to this job role more if i have to slice the data with reference to this 26 to 35 age bracket i will click on it and it will slice the dashboard with reference to this age bracket in this age bracket we have total these employees 1118 and the iteration rate of this age bracket is 21% more you can slice the data as per your requirement so basically this is the introduction of this powerful dashboard now let's get started and start building this complete powerful HR dashboard so first of all I'm going to open power BI so now here I'm selecting my new report I'm selecting this import data from Excel this is my HR data set I'm selecting this one this is my HR data and here I'm selecting this transform data. So now I'm going to select this add column. This is conditional column. This is my new column with the name of age bracket and here I'm selecting if age is less than or equal to 25 then you need to show 18 to 25 and I'm adding one more clause if the age is less than or equal to 35 then make it 26 to 35 add new age less than or equal to 45 make it 36 to 45 add new age is less than or equal to 55 then make it 46 to 55 otherwise make it more than 55 okay i have segregated my employees with reference to the age bracket so now i'm going to this home and close and apply so finally my data is uploaded here now i'm going to visit my this home under home this is my inter data i'm selecting this one and this is my calculations load and I'm clicking this more options new my year and here i will be calculating total employees rows HR data so in HR data each row contains one employee so if I will count the number of rows that would be the total number of employees press enter again I'm selecting this new my year this is my current employees is equal to calculate and the expression expression in the formula so the formula is total employees I have to calculate the total employees but you need to put a filter that I'm going to write here in HR data the iteration no so these are my current employees again I'm selecting this more option and this is my new my year and these are my ex employees if the value of the iteration will be yes it will give me the ex employees the next current employee percentage is equal to the current employee divided by total number of employees it will give me the percentage of the current employees again I'm selecting on more options new mayor and here I have to calculate X employees percentage and here I will divide the X employees on total employees enter so basically the answer of this one will be the percentage so that's why I'm selecting this percentage 
and setting the decimal to zero. Similarly, I'm selecting this current employee percentage and selecting this percentage and setting this decimal to zero. Now I have to calculate the total number of males. So again, I'm selecting this more option, new mayor, male is equal to calculate. We have to calculate the total employees but calculate it when HR data gender value is equal to male. Similarly, we have to calculate females. So I'm going to this more option, new mayor, and here I will set it to female. So these are my females. Enter. So now I'm going to visit this format your report page and I'm selecting this canvas background, selecting this white 10% darker and transparency to 50% now I'm going to visit this insert this shape under shape this is style and make it white and this border to off again I'm selecting this shape and make its copy and drag it to upward and I will make its fill to black again I'm selecting this one copy and paste Under shape, this is style and I will make it white, making its four copies. I'm selecting this shape and I will be selecting this 10% darker and I will make it 10%. I'm selecting all of these shapes and I'm going to this format align. First option is align top and the second one is distribute horizontally. Now I'm going to select this card and here I will be selecting the total employees. I'm selecting this format your visual, this call out value, make it bold, display unit 2000 and the decimal set to 0. Similarly, I'm selecting this category label and I will make it bold. Then I'm moving to this journal under effect. I will disable this background. I'm selecting it again and uh, I'm going to this call out value. Again, I'm selecting this one. Copy and paste it here. Copy and paste it here as well. And I will replace this, this current employees. Then I'm selecting this and I will replace this with my, this is my X employees. I'm going to select this donut chart and I will give it current employee percentage. This is current employees percentage and this is X employee percentage. Then I'm going to this format your visual and I will be visiting this detail labels, this value section. I will make it bold. Then I'm going to this journal and I will disable this title under effect. I will disable the background. Now I'm visiting this my view and here I will be selecting this format style. So basically this chart showing this 84 are the current employees and 16% of the employees left the company. Like you can see the attrition rate of this company is 16%. Now I'm visiting this insert text box. So this is my HR dashboard. Set its color to white. Under journal, this is effect and in effect, I will disable the background. Now I'm going to visit under this insert. This is image. I'm selecting all of this image one by one. I'm selecting all of these images, pressing shift from my keyboard and clicking all of these images. And I'm going to this journal under properties. I will make it 80, 80. Again, I'm selecting my this chart. Under this visual, this is my legend and I will be selecting this bottom center. So now I'm going to visit my this clustered bar chart. So here I'm going to select the total employees and total employees with reference to the job role. So from here I'm searching job role. So this is my job role and I will put job role to my Y axis. Now I'm visiting this format your visual, this journal section, this title and here I will make this center line, the background color to black and the text color to this white. 
make it bold then i'm going this visual and here are my data labels and in my data labels the first thing i will be making on this background and the background color will be this black and make its transparency to zero and this value make the value to white make it bold data labels part is done now i'm going this is under visual this is y axis and here i will disable this title similarly i'm going to this x axis and making this title off and the values off as well now again i'm copying and pasting it here here i will replace this job wall with education so i'm selecting this education to this y axis so now this is showing me the number of employees with reference to education so now again i'm selecting this one copy and paste it again now i will replace this chart type to my this clustered column chart and here i will replace this education with age bracket this one this age bracket now i'm selecting this chart copy and paste it again and i will replace its type to this donor chart now i'm going to this format your visual and under this visual this is detail labels and i will make their value color to this black And decimal to zero again i'm copying pasting it and again copying pasting it here i will replace this education with gender this gender and here i will replace this education with department so now if i will select this sales executive from here now you can see it cannot slice the whole dashboard with the reference to this selection so i have to fix this so for this i will select my this chart and i'm going to this format in format this is edit interactions i will on it and after selecting this chart now i'm going to select this filter this filter this filter this filter this filter similarly now i'm selecting this total employee by education process to rest of the charts filter 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 of this chart was not visible so that's why i'm making it like this again i'm selecting this and selecting its filter now i'm selecting this chart now i'm selecting this one now selecting gender now selecting this total employees by department and at the end i'm selecting this one and similarly by selecting all of these i have to select the filter of this chart as well now i'm going to this format and disable this edit interactions so now if i will select this sales executive now you can see this is slicing the rest of the dashboard similarly if i will be selecting the bachelors so it is slicing the rest chart with reference to this selection so now at the end i'm selecting my this chart total employed by education and here i will remove this education with business travel now at the end i have to publish my this power bi dashboard on power bi portal so for this under home i will be selecting this publish save select replace got it so finally my this dashboard is uploaded on power bi workspace so on my this power bi workspace this is my hr dashboard too if i will click on it view full screen so finally my dashboard is live now